on this amazing wig that I made myself yay I really did I made this myself and I think I did such a good job I've only made one other wig which was a disaster I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of tips in this video on how to make your own wig special shout out to elfin hair they are um, the sponsors of this video they sent me this amazing hair but the tips that I will be giving in this video will also help you whether you use elfin hair or not but I highly recommend this hair like do you see this oh my god and the crazy thing is I haven't done anything to this hair except wash it I have not dyed it I have not um, cut it or anything I just washed it blow dried it and it is amazing okay the packaging is really 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 cute the hair is amazing so I'm gonna be giving you all the specs throughout this video the things that you will need are So who is ready to get started? I know I am. So I have the wig stand secured to this table. And now we're just going to put the wig head on. And we are going to be wrapping this wig head with paper towel and saran wrap. I know when y'all saw that, y'all was like, what? what? What do we need paper towel and saran wrap for? But these mannequin heads are so tiny that if you make a wig on this, you will be very disappointed when you try to put it on your big head, okay? <laughs> And trust me, I did that and I had to remake this whole wig, y'all. I was so mad. So make sure you wrap it and make it kind of like a cone shape because you want it to be like, you know, a scoop dome to fit your head. Well, it's easy to like put the front to where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pin. I'm going to take one of these pins and I'm going to place the frontal where I want it to be which is pretty much measured out from this, um, this cap. Another mistake I made is I did not stretch the wig cap enough. I put it on a natural hairline. However, this is a mannequin, so stretch that thing even if you have to put it to the eyes. Put this into a little bun, just so it's out of the way. Now let's thread this needle. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this, but I'm going to be very thorough in this video for those who really need like the full tutorial. So we're going to take the needle and thread. I'm just going to put the thread through this little hole and pull it through. And I'm going to match the loose ends. 
and I'm going to tie it into a knot. And then I'm going to cut the excess string off. And now we're ready to sew. And the first one should be difficult and that's good because that means that you won't be losing it. <laughs> so now I'm going to go through the cap again. And then through the um, closure and pulling it really tightly. I'm just going to um, go all the way around and then we'll start doing um, each layer starting from the back. So it's really easy. I'm going through the net and then I'm going through the um, closure. And it's getting easier now because it already has the holes for you. But so far, so good. You just have to be really careful with this part because it can start getting um, tangled and make a knot. And then just make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so I'm almost done this section. I have a few more stitches to go. So I want to come back on film so you guys can see how to finish this off. So I'm gonna cut the string. Now with the excess, we have to tie a knot. And sometimes, y'all, this is, this is actually pretty short, and sometimes it's even shorter, and that sucks because trying to tie a knot with that little piece of string is hard. So I'm tying it really tight, and I'm gonna do a double knot. Shoot, you can do a triple one if you want. Now I'm just going to cut that off. Cut that string. And there. So now we have this all sewn all the way around. And now we're ready to do our wefts. Measure your wefts for the back from ear to ear. And you're going to repeat this process all the way up to the closure. The only tip that I do have for you um, during this process is I like to make the tracks closer together at the bottom to give your hair that thickness so it doesn't look so see-through. Once you get to the middle section, you can start spacing them out a little bit more. And then once you get closer to the closure, start spacing them smaller together like you did, you know, at the beginning. And it's the same process. You tie it off and then cut it. And I like to always start from right to left. It just feels right to me. Some people like to, you know, end here and then start a track at this point and then go the opposite direction. But I really like to start, you know, the same way every time. It just has this rhythm. So as you can see, we are all the way back up to the closure and the last track you actually are going to sew it onto that closure because you don't want any spacing and the closure does have space for you to sew it. Off camera, I did wash and blow dry this unit because I did not like the silky look. I wanted a more textured look and of course I wanted the hair to be clean. Before applying your wig, you may want to lay your edges down or maybe wear a cap. I don't like wearing caps. <laughs> now, I can get away with wearing this without bobby pins, but I like to use bobby pins to secure my wigs. So, I am going to use it. And I like to use it close to the part. Because if you use it close to the parting, that's where it'll help it stay flat so you can't see that hairline. Because you know, it kind of lifts up right here and it's so annoying. So that's why I like to use the bobby pins closer to the part on both sides of the part. I'm going to do the concealer trick. This is the NYX Concealer and Corrector and Contour Palette. And then just a little e.l.f. concealer brush. So I'm just going to grab some of this right here another concealer trick is you can use this same concealer on the inside of the cap instead of bleaching the knots and it'll make your hairline look even more natural 
and blend it out a little bit because it does end up looking kind of so that is it y'all this hair is so freaking long and it's like it's like light but it's so much hair that it almost feels heavy do you get what i'm saying like it's a i guess um hair is weighed in ounces and it's a lot of hair um i did use i think three and a half bundles and a closure so yeah it's a lot of hair i put it in the back Again, all the tips that I've given you in this video can help you create any type of wig um, with any type of hair. And Elfin does have a lot of different textures and, you know, you can check it out. I'll leave the um, link in the description box so you can go shop around and see what you see. If you have any questions, please leave it in the um, comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, girls. Thank <laughs> you.